Hey Critter Clan, Dan here. Today, we're given one of our more elusive invertebrates a brand new space to explore. This tiger-like centipede isn't just fast, it's also one of the most striking critters here in the collection. So let's rehouse and learn a little more about this fascinating centipede along the way. The tiger-like centipede, or Scolopendra hynanum, is easily one of the most striking centipedes in the hobby. Native to China and Southeast Asia, they flaunt bold black and orange banded legs, giving them a tiger-like appearance as they scurry through the leaf litter. They grow to around 6 to 8 inches long and are extremely fast, reactive and defensive. This is not a pet you'll be handling. In fact, the rule is pretty simple, no fingers in the enclosure. They don't want to be touched, held or admired too closely. And if you try, they will let you know how they feel about it. You'll want a secure escape proof enclosure, and I do mean secure. These things are master escape artists. I recommend something like a 5 to 10 gallon tank or large critter keeper with strong side locks. Even a small ventilation gap can be an opportunity for these guys to get out. Now let's talk about substrate. Tiger legs are terrestrial, but they love to burrow. Lay down a 46 inches of moisture retaining substrate. I use a blend of organic topsoil, sand, sphagnum moss and leaf litter. Pack it down gently so they can tunnel without constant collapses. Add leaf litter, bark pieces and cork flats to mimic their natural forest floor environment and give them multiple hiding options. For temperature, aim for a range between 24 and 28 degrees Celsius or 75 to 82 Fahrenheit. Use a low wattage heat mat on the side if necessary, never under the tank though, since these guys like to dig and you'll risk drying them out. Humidity should stay in the 70 to 80% range. That means regular misting, two to three times a week depending on your climate, and good airflow to prevent mold. Add springtails as a cleanup crew if you want a bioactive touch. They'll help break down waste and keep the tank fresher for longer. One little note though, I wouldn't add isopods to this enclosure. During the molt, isopods can nibble at the freshly molted centipede, so I just wouldn't risk it. Feeding your tiger leg is where things get exciting and a little intense. These are ambush predators. You drop a cricket in and within seconds expect a strike if they're hungry. They've got a feeding response that's nothing short of theatrical. Feed juveniles twice a week and adults about once per week. Crickets and dubia roaches are perfect staple feeders. Every now and then you can throw in a wax worm or horn worm as a treat, but don't overdo it on the fatty stuff. It's important not to leave uneaten live feeders in the enclosure. A rogue cricket might stress out your centipede, or worse, chewing it while it's molting. Always remove uneaten prey after 24 hours. Handling and safety. This isn't a tarantula that might tolerate a calm hand for a moment. This is a high speed venom injector noodle of chaos. Even experienced keepers don't handle them unless it's absolutely necessary. And even then, it's with tools, not fingers. If you need to do enclosure maintenance, use long tongs or a catch cup. For full rehousing, give it time, move slowly and always have a backup plan. Like a deli cut with pre-poked holes and your dignity somewhere nearby. These creatures can run faster than your brain registers bad idea. Now, about the venom. S. hynanum isn't lethal to humans, but their bite is known to be extremely painful. Think searing localised pain, swelling, maybe nausea and hours of regret. Medical attention isn't usually required, but you'll be miserable for quite a while. Centipedes are surprisingly low maintenance as long as you keep their conditions stable. Spot clean uneaten food or waste weekly and do a full substrate refresh every 3-4 months unless you're going bioactive. Now, when molting time comes around, usually once or twice a year, your centipede will go into hiding and may refuse food for several days, sometimes up to a couple of weeks. That's totally normal, just leave it alone and keep conditions steady. They're extremely vulnerable during a molt, so no peeking, no poking and don't rearrange their space. These centipedes don't interact with their environment the same way a spider might. They're not webbers or diggers in the traditional sense, they're patrollers. Give them multiple hides and areas to explore and you'll occasionally catch them on the prowl late at night. If you're into nighttime observation, a red LED light won't disturb them but will let you watch them do their thing. They don't need enrichment toys but rearranging hides occasionally can give them new spaces to explore and encourage that natural behaviour. Right, time to try and get this wee guy in his new home. Sorry, bum. I promise you it's worth it. And straight under the cork bark, we will never see it again. 
Thanks for tagging along Critter Clan. That wraps up our rehousing of the Tiger Leg Centipede. If you enjoyed the crawl, leave a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Stay curious, stay crawly and see you next time. Cheerio and Rasta. Thank you.